By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim. Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And I guess we also unbox old school magic. Look at this. It's, it kind of feels like I bought a booster box of old school magic. This is... It's, it's, it's got old school magic cards in here and before I open it I just want to explain what this actually is because this is really really unique. In this box we have five, five repacks of old school magic cards, so cards from 1993 and 1994 and these repacks are made by a gentleman named Kyle Montgomery. I'm just going to show you um, a, little, uh, a little picture of his Facebook ad um that he put in a, a special graded magic collectors and sellers group and these repacks are not mine so they're not mine uh, a magic friend of mine sent me a message and said what do you think would you like to open the five repacks i bought from kyle on your youtube channel and i was like are you sure i mean don't you want to open them yourself um, but he said no man i would like you to do it and i would like you to make a movie out of it and that's where we are right now. I'm making the movie. And um, as you can see, let, let me just read the post from Kyle Montgomery first. So you can see 9394 repacks. I'm making repacks of my excess 9394 cards and including six graded beta power nine cards and two ungraded. Okay, almost all of the near main cards would likely grade 8.5 or nine but didn't make the cut for sending to BGS, especially with current turnaround times. Packs are $500 each, limited to 128 packs. I won't take payments or ship anything into, until we are sold out. Details are in the spreadsheet. So this is kind of interesting. Um, and I think, I think it's a nice approach actually from Kyle, where he says, I've got this beautiful collection. Uh, these are my excess cards. Uh, I'm repacking them because I'm not going to sell them as singles. And if I if, if they're all sold out, then I have an X amount of money. And that's the amount that I want to get for for this collection. So then he's happy. And he's also saying, I won't accept any payments or ship anything out until it's completely sold out. Well, guess what? It's completely sold out. So that's why we've got these. Um, now, there are eight uh, power cards, uh, I think, in here. What is he saying? Yeah, no, nine beta power cards. Six of them have been opened. So there are potentially three beta power cards in here still, right? So we've got a chance to find three of these cards. There are five repacks in here. Uh, wow, this is... <laughs> This is just crazy. Um, interesting here is that the rare, because I'm, I'm, I also asked um, the buyer to kind of explain to me how these packs were built up. Well, I'm gonna open them and we're gonna see it in a moment. But he's saying the rare is in his sleeve and it's turned the other way around. And then there's a white, if it's a white bordered card, it's a good thing in this case because it means it's a dual land. Or it's a protocol sorcerer, so this is interesting. And a protocol sorcerer, so a Timmy, you can exchange that Timmy for one of the Power 9 cards. So the actual Power 9 cards are not in these booster packs. Instead, he's put protocol sorcerers in the packs, and they represent the Power 9 cards. Okay, okay, so that's, uh, wow. That is kind of crazy. So... If I find a Timmy here, if we find a Timmy, uh, we're actually, we're in business. We've got a power nine card. Okay. Um, uh, insane. So I'm just, I'm going to open it and I'm going to see what these repacks actually look like. I mean, this is by far the most expensive packs I've opened on the channel. I'm not, um, as you know, I'm not a financial channel. I'm actually not a big fan of graded cards. To each their own, though. Like, if you're into that stuff, you're into that stuff. Um, but, I mean, I do love old school cards. And just the idea of opening a repack here. And the chance of actually pulling a Power 9 card out of these packs. That's just, I mean, that's insane. Just the chance to open it. That alone makes it worth it. So, let's have a look here. So, the scissors. it up 
Let me know in the channel, by the way, what's the most expensive magic repack or booster pack you've bought? I think mine is just a d the dark one that I bought uh, two years ago. Don't even know how expensive it was. It wasn't that expensive. Okay, so here they are. Oh, man. So we can put the box away. And we've got one, two, three, four, five booster packs. Now what I'm gonna do, as you can see, the camera angle is not ideal, so I'm gonna set up the camera a little bit different and then I'll be right back. And we are back. One, two, three, four, and I guess this is gonna be the first one that I'm gonna open. Whew, okay, let's, uh, let's do this. And I guess we can open it here. I mean, normally I go a little bit, you know, I just go in it, but for now I'm, uh, oof. I noticed that I'm a little bit tense, just the idea that I could pull Power 9. And besides the Power 9, I think there are some really cool, valuable cards in here. Uh, I'm just gonna have a little, little look if I, yeah, okay. So here we go. And that makes sense. So we have the uh, top loader card here. So that must be the rare. And these are the other cards. And it's very well packed, as you can see. I'm going to open it very carefully, obviously. Okay. So. Whew, okay. Okay. Are we ready? Uh, here we go. First one. And we've got an island. Beautiful. Also, look at the condition of this card. Man, in this alone, how, how cool is it? I'm opening beta cards. <laughs> this is insane. Okay, next one. And Serpent Generator. Now, this is a cool card from Legends. You can actually put 1-1 one, one, um, Poison uh, Serpents with uh, that put a Poison Counter on the opponent when they deal damage. Really cool. The problem here is it's 6 mana to cast, 4 mana to tap to use. But uh, it's a really cool card. Very cool. Okay, next one. Kurt Abe, legendary Mr. Kurt Abe. Wow, this is such a cool card. I'm holding it a little bit like this because of the glare. You see, that's why I'm holding the cards like so. Kurt Abe, I remember early days of Magic. Ty got Kurt Abe. That was, the, that was the way to go. That was the way to win games. And here we've got Invisibility. So put this baby on a Juggernaut and you're good to go. Invisibility, two blue enchant creature. Target creature can be blocked only by walls, right? And who plays with walls? So really cool. Okay. <sighs> okay, next one. And ooh, this is a nice one. Rook Egg. Really nice card to play with, for example, an Earthquake or with a deck that uses uh, Nevenerals Discs. Really nice. What a lot of people uh, forget with this card, because it's one red and three to cast, is when it dies, you get the four, four red flying um, creature, right? But it comes into play at the end of the turn. Okay, so you have to wait until the absolute end of your turn before it comes into play. Next one, bam. Wow, oh, beautiful, 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 beautiful Anson Maddox art. Lure with a tasty apple. Really nice classical card. Maybe there's a Thicket Basilisk here and we can make a combo. There we go, boom. Oh, okay. Not sure what this means. The card the card is the other way around. So we'll, we'll check that out in a moment. Let's first do this. The last one. Oh, wait, or I guess, oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is the rare. This is the rare. This is what, what he meant when he told me the card is the other way around. So the, the rare is not in the top loader. Look, top loader is empty. This is the rare actually. Okay, so ho, ho, so we're gonna, oh man. Okay, first first things first, these two. And boom, there we've got a soul net. Really, these cards are just, this is magic history, you know? This is, oh, I wanna play with all of these cards. Next one, boom. Ah, Aladdin's Ring, powerhouse, eight to cast, eight and tap, right? It's eight, yeah, do four damage to any target. Actually, I had a game of Commander yesterday where somebody played this and I, I put a Steel Artifact on it because he kept on killing all my creatures. So 
in crazy games, Aladdin's ring can be kind of powerful. Okay, so here we've got the rare, so I'm going to take it out of the sleeve. So this could potentially be a power nine card. It could be a dual land. <sighs> okay, here we go. Bam! Library of Lang. Okay, so this is not a power nine card, but it's still a beautiful library of Lang. And the condition of these cards is just insane. They're just in really, really pristine condition. Really amazing. Okay, this was the first booster pack. I need a moment and then I'll be right back with the second booster. And we are moving on to booster pack number two. Okay, okay. Let me make some space. So here we see one of the cards of booster pack number one. We're gonna put that here. Whew, man, okay. Booster pack number two. And there we go again. There we go, there we go, there we go again. Just make sure I don't wanna spoil anything. Boom, here we go. I really like the packaging, by the way. It's really, it's really done very neatly, very safely. Uh, safe, safely, can you say? Yeah, safely, you can say that. Um, we're gonna open it up. Oh, oh, oh. Almost the card there slipped away. Anyway, here they are. First one, there we go. Booster pack number two. And we've got a beautiful Urtus power plant. I'm a big fan of antiquities, a big fan. And there we go, boom, howl from beyond. Bam, unsummoned, classic. Next one, there's a twiddle. Very useful little instant from blue. You see it a lot with uh, the artifact. Time Volt, and the next one, bam. Okay, this is the rare again. Ooh. Ooh, this one is in a different condition. The others are really like in good condition or near mint condition, and this one is in plague condition, I think. So that's gonna be interesting. Don't know what that means. Bam, and here we see a white ward. So I guess these are then the uncommons in the, ba in the pack. Okay, not necessarily. I guess there's another twiddle. And here we see a regeneration. Beautiful Quinton Hoover art. Big fan of his art. And then the last one. And that is, oh nice, a brass man from the Arabian Nights. Very cool. Okay, and here we got the rare. So I'm gonna take it out of the sleeve. Okay guys, the rare booster pack number two. Bam! Mana Drain, wow! Ho oh, ho! This is a good rare. Wow, wow, wow. Mana Drain, classical card, original printing Mana Drain Legends, two blue to cast an interrupt, because back then you still had interrupts. Counter target spell at the beginning of your next main phase, add X to your mana pool, where X is the casting cost of target spell. I love it when I'm able to play a mana drain and then, um, you know, countering a powerful spell of my opponent and then in my turn, use the mana drain mana to cast a huge brain geyser. Like that's, that's always kind of the dream. Okay, wow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Gonna put that definitely back here in the sleeve. Wow, really nice. Okay, so this is booster pack number two. Let's see, let's put it here. And we're, Gonna continue here with booster pack number three. Booster pack number three. Oh man, Mana Drain. That is a sweet card to pull. That is a really nice pull. Um, oh yeah, here we go. We've gotta move on in life. No time, no time to, to, uh, to stay in the past. We gotta move on. Uh, another booster pack, booster number three. I mean, this, this is just kind of crazy. 
There we go. And the first one, and here we go. Pearl Unicorn, yeah, the classical tutu. And boom, Urtz's Tower, nice. So we also had, I think that was the Urtz's Mine, right? So we've got an Urtz's Tower, we've got an Urtz's Mine. Next one, and ooh, the rare already. I really like it that he's put the rares the other way around, so there's no way to accidentally get the rare too early. So I can always do it at the end. Um, next one, Citadel Druid. So the nice thing is that um, Citadel is actually an anagram for lunatic. So it actually says lunatic druid. Nice card to play in uh, multiplayer, by the way. And boom, Simbad, yep. Great little card. Use it in a lot of decks because you just you don't want to be mana hungry, and Simbat can help you out. And next one, Stone Throwing Devils from the Arabian Nights. Boom! Oh, this one's pretty useful. Power Leech. You gain one life whenever one of the opponent's artifacts becomes tapped, or whenever the activation cost of one of the opponent's artifacts is paid is not triggered by continuous artifacts, unfortunately. But it's too green. It's quite it's quite a little useful in Shaman, actually. I think it should see more play. Next one. And we've got the Bronze Tablet. Mono Artifact from the Antiquities. And the last one is a Creature Bond. Really, like kind of the mysterious art when you look at her. And this is this is the dragon here. You can see the eye here. Really nice creature bond, a card, a card that doesn't see a lot of play. And this is the rare, okay, rare of booster number three. We had a mana drain earlier. What's going to be in here? And bam! Ho ho! Oh, ho ho! Oh, Jesus! Okay, uh, yeah, this is a Taiga from the Unlimited, and uh, which is nice because we also got a Kurt Ape in booster one, so we can actually play them together. Let me let me get the Kurt Ape. The Kurt Ape. When you see a Taiga, you know you know the Kurt Ape is coming. So let's have a look here. So look at these two together. It's a ceremony. But wow, 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 wow! I am really jealous, man. You're pulling a Mana Drain, and then the next booster is actually a Taiga. Absolutely fantastic! Congratulations on that. Oh man, so nice, so nice. And we still have two booster packs to go here. This is just, this is just crazy. Oh man. Oh, okay. Next one, next one. There we go. I'll, I'm, I'm trying to speed it up a little bit, by the way. I'm sure you want me, you know, to get going with the rares and stuff, but I just think these cards are just so beautiful that I really just want to take my time to like enjoy the opening, to look at the cards. Of course there's value, but I mean, I also really enjoy, like to see the Library of Lang in pristine condition, for example, that's also really nice. I mean, these cards are in, in such good condition. Okay, 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 so here we go. The sleeves are a little bit slippery. Booster pack number four, after there's only one more to go. Another Sinbad. And Oh, beautiful sacrifice. This art is so cool. Wow. And it's the same background as the Moxon, by the way. It's the same artist that made the Moxon, Dan Frazier. Sacrifice and interrupt, and you can destroy one of your creatures without regenerating it and add to your mana pool a number of black mana equal to the creature's casting cost. I think somebody once killed me with a sacrifice by sacrificing a creature and using that mana for their pump knight and killing me like I really didn't didn't see that coming <laughs> so that was a that was a really nice victory well for my opponent because I lost but sacrifice really cool card uh, next one here drudge skeleton yeah I actually played with the drudge skeleton yesterday classical creature very cool very cool okay and okay this is the rare so we're putting it over there next one a dwarven warriors one red and two to cast, classical, can make your creatures unblockable. This can make the Kurt Ape unblockable. Yeah, yeah, I can see a deck. We can make a red-green deck here. And there is the Living Lance. 
one green and three to cast enchantment. It makes all your forests into one one creatures. The art is just fantastic. Let me take it out of it because there's so much glare with the art. Oh, there's a bit of a roller line on here, by the way. I don't think you can, can you see it? No, that's hard. Yeah, you can see it now. You see a big roller line. Other than that, the card's in great condition. That art is just, if, if I see this, I want to play it with Moss Monster from Legends. Anyway, uh, next one. And, ooh, a Jeweled Bird. Yeah, I think this is one of those anti cards. Draw a card and ex exchange Jeweled Bird for your contribution to the anti, right? So this is when people used to play with anti back in the day. The way anti worked is um, before you started the actual game, the top card of your library, after shoveling, of course, you would play that for anti. And that means that when you would lose the game, you would lose that card as well. Now, players didn't really like the idea of, of losing their cards, so it wasn't a very uh, popular way of playing. I never played for Anti. Um, let me know if you played for Anti, by the way, and if, if it's something that you enjoyed. Some people, at some tournaments, old school tournaments, it's, it's still done, actually. And here we go, we've got Dancing Scimitar, and the, the unique thing about this card, actually, is that this is also the logo of Arabian Nights. So the card itself is also a logo, and I think it's the only card in uh, Magic's history that, that has that. 1-5 for to cast, doesn't see a lot of play, but I think it's it's pretty reasonable though. A 1-5. And then we have a beautiful Disrupting Scepter. Dan Frazier art again, so we see that same background as we saw with the, uh, with the Sacrifice. Let me just show you here, so it's similar background. Yeah, this is a uh, beautiful card, like that 3D effect. And I think that Dan Frazier is really good in, in in making, I wouldn't call it simple art, but in like the artifacts, really, really putting them on the, on, on the foreground. At least that's my opinion. But okay, I'm, ho I'm holding everybody up. Let's go to the rare. So this could be a power nine card. If this is a protocol sorcerer, it means it's a power nine card. Okay, <sighs> here we go. Bam! And it's, wow, it's a Suchi. Look at the condition of this Suchi. Wow, look at the condition of this Suchi. This is just insane. Insane condition of this Suchi. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> okay, it's not Power 9, it's not a dual land. It's not a restricted card, but still, it's an extremely beautiful Suchi. This is a very sought after card in old school. It is extra, it is, it is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So, there we go. And then the last booster pack, booster number five here. And um, yeah. I'm gonna go for it here. Last one, will it have power nine? Everything is possible. Or will it have another dual end? Okay. <clears throat> here we go, last one. And another Kurt Ape. And Wall of Brambles. Dark Pact, Carrion Ants. This this is this card killed me recently, not too long ago. <laughs> In a, somebody played Black Tron with Carrion Ants. Amazing. Anyway, um, Carrion Ants. Next one. Goblin Balloon Brigade. Beautiful. The rare. The rare. The last rare. Stang, ah, such a bad boy. Play this one, get two for free. Get one for free, I should say. Really nice legendary creature. And Drudge Skeletons. And another Dwarven Warriors. Okay, here we go. Last rare of the pack. Okay, and bam. Whoa. 
I know it's not data power, but this is such a cool card. Transmute Artifact. Look at the art. Look at the crazy Anson Maddox art on this card. And this card recently spiked through the roof. Like I'm not a financial channel. I'm not into investing, but I know that at least. Because I, I was I was I was uh, trying to buy another one. But wow, Transmute Artifact. For people that don't know what it is, two blue to cast a sorcery from antiquities, and it's got a lot of text. I'm just gonna read it to you here. Search through your library for one artifact and immediately place it into play. Also choose any artifact in play that you control and place it in its owner's graveyard. If the new artifact has a casting cost greater than that of the discarded one, you must pay the difference or transmute artifact fails and both artifacts are discarded. Shuffle your library after playing this card. So this is a tutor for artifacts. Extremely powerful, especially in a format where you play with Chaos Orb. This is like a fantastic, fantastic card, fantastic pool. Okay, so just to sum it up, we've opened five booster packs, repacks of cards from 1993 and 1994. This has been an extremely cool experience for me. Uh, these are the rares that we pulled. I think, I think we did a really good job. So I would like to, uh, to thank uh, Kyle actually for making these beautiful repacks. And I wanna thank, of course, my magic friend uh, for allowing me to open these on, uh, on my channel. Thank you very much for that. These are your boosters. I hope you're happy with it. Um, I will definitely be, uh, be contacting you right now. Uh, wow, 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 wow. Okay, well, thank you for watching another episode of, of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic and here you can kind of see it from above you see the rares the channel where we talk old school magic if you want to support us if you want to help the channel grow um yeah you can do so by letting me open these great booster packs you know so that's fantastic um and you can also do that by leaving a like leaving a comment let me know what you think about these openings would you buy 93 94 repacks would you do that um, and also let me know what was your most expensive booster pack that you ever opened. Um, what else is there to say? If you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe to the channel. That helps out a lot. It really helps the channel grow. It shows YouTube that you appreciate my channel. Uh, another thing that you can do is you can also become a sponsor of Timmy Talks of the show. And you can do that by becoming a patron through our Patreon page. So there's probably a link popping up right now. You can click on the link and that will take you to my Patreon page. And there you can see how you can support Timmy Talks. Uh, talking about that, let's go to the fantastic, amazing patrons and channel members of Timmy Talks. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Ik het dus, ik het dus, zomba kazee.